please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Certainly. Below is a tutorial that guides you through creating a simple Python 3.7 application using Asyncio to start a web server using FastAPI and a message consumer using AIO underscore Pika. In this tutorial, we'll explore the power of Python 3.7 Asyncio by creating a simple application that includes a FastAPI web server and an AIO underscore Pika message consumer. FastAPI is a modern, fast, high-performance, web framework for building APIs with Python 3.7 plus. AIO underscore Pika is a library for interacting with RabbitMQ using the asynchronous I.O. support in Python. Create a new directory for your project and navigate into it. Create a file named main.py for the FastAPI web server. Run the FastAPI web server using the following command. Visit http slash slash 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 slash in your browser, and you should see the hello, world message. Now, let's add a message consumer using AIO underscore Pika. Create a file named consumer.py. Ensure your RabbitMQ server is running. Update the RabbitMQ server details in the consumer.py file. Run the AIO underscore Pika consumer using the following command. Now, your application consists of a fast API web server and an AIO underscore Pika message consumer, both running asynchronously. In this tutorial, you learned how to leverage Python 3.7 Asyncio to create a fast API web server and an AIO underscore Pika message consumer. This asynchronous approach allows your application to handle concurrent tasks efficiently, making it suitable for high-performance scenarios. Feel free to expand on this foundation to build more complex applications based on your needs. ChatGPT